Welcome back to Cardinal Sports Weekly. I'm your host, Ethan Jennings, and here's what happened in SVSU athletics this week. SVSU football is off to their best start since 2018 after a win over Roosevelt on Saturday. The Cardinals won 27-14 with Mason McKenzie having 307 total yards and two touchdowns, one in the air to Eric Kraft and one on the ground. Terrence Brown also had 113 rushing yards and a touchdown. Jaquan Howard had his third touchdown in two weeks when he scored on a 98-yard kickoff return. Joseph Walker also had a notable week as the redshirt freshman had career highs in receptions and yards with seven receptions for 117 yards, which led SVSU. Here's what head coach Ryan Brady had to say following the Cardinals' fourth straight victory. Got to give uh, Roosevelt a lot of credit. You know, they played hard, um, and we talked about that all week. That's what we saw on film, and so, you know, uh, long road trip and uh, happy to come out here and get a W and, um, you know, really pleased with the way that we found a way to win the fourth quarter and, and, and close it out. SVSU faces Grand Valley State next week in the Battle of the Valleys on homecoming Saturday at 3 o'clock at Harvey Randall Wick Stadium. Cardinal men's soccer got back on track this weekend after picking up two key victories in GLIAC play. On Friday, they got a convincing win against 13th-ranked St. Cloud State by a final score of 3-0. The Cardinals kept the pressure on all game and seemed to have full control from start to finish. Johnny Money, Shake Manet, and Jaden Cameron all scored on Friday. On Sunday, SVSU defeated Northern Michigan in an extremely physical match that included eight cards, two of which were red. The game was even at halftime at 1-1. SVSU scored early in the game on a corner kick when Anthony Waller found Felix Tom for a header in the box. Then in the 81st minute of play, Jaden Cameron scored off an assist from Antonius Berkeley to put SVSU on top for good in a 2-1 victory. The Cardinals are on the road next week to play the same two opponents they played this week. They play Northern Michigan on Friday and St. Cloud State on Sunday. The women's soccer team continued their long road stretch this weekend against Davenport and Wisconsin Parkside. The Cardinals tied both matches to keep their record at 500 at 4-4 and 3. Against Davenport, Lauren Fricasi had the lone goal in the 1-1 draw. Riley Garbars had the lone goal against Wisconsin Parkside. Goalkeeper Laney Garbar has recorded 11 saves between the two games. The Cardinals only have one game this week. It is their final game in this five-game road stretch and will be against 16th-ranked Grand Valley State on Sunday. SVSU Volleyball dropped both of their matches this week, both by scores of 3-0. The first was against 4th-ranked Ferris State and the second was against Davenport. Sedona Kuhn had 13 kills against Ferris State to lead the Cardinals. Sarah Veal led SVSU against Davenport with 12 kills. The Cardinals play this weekend against Upper Iowa and William Jewell on Friday and Kentucky Wesleyan on Saturday in the Midwest Regional Crossover. SVSU women's golf was unmatched in the Davenport Invitational. The Cardinals were tied for first after day one but ended up winning the Invitational by nine strokes. Megan Thierivong, Brooke Herbstraight, Christina Nagy, Hannah Hauser, and Andy Martin set an 18-hole team record on day one shooting a 296 and rebroke it the next day shooting a 295. Thierivong was SVSU's top scorer. She tied for second shooting even par on the weekend. This tournament concluded the Cardinals' fall season. SVSU men's golf placed third out of 12 this weekend at the Davenport Invitational. The team finished even overall with their top scorer being Thomas Keat, who scored two under to tie for second overall out of the 70 golfers present. He recorded nine birdies in 36 holes over the weekend. SVSU starts their final tournament of the fall season today at the Docks Bragg Invitational hosted by Findlay. Both cross-country teams competed in the Lewis University crossover on Saturday. The men's team placed 13th out of the 26 teams present. Jacob Walker was the Cardinals' top finisher with a PR of 24 minutes and 45.4 seconds. The women's team finished 25th out of 36 teams. Jenna Picard and Carissa Picard finished moments apart to lead SVSU. The Cardinals return home to host the annual Red October meet this Friday, October 18th at 11 a.m. Both the men's and women's swimming and diving teams competed in Grand Rapids in a tri-meet against Calvin and Grand Valley State. The men won against Calvin 178 to 120 and fell to the Lakers 188.5 to 108.5. The women's team fell to both Calvin and Grand Valley State by scores of 154 to 144 and 228 to 69 respectively. Benjamin Wayman, Alexa Heber, Almish Zedlack, Logan Fox, and Samantha Fowler had stellar outings for the Cardinals all finishing in the top three in their respective races. SVSU hosts their alumni meet on Saturday at home at 11 a.m. 
Afterwards, their next competition is up north against Northern Michigan at the Peef Pool. We'd like to give a shout out to the SVSU Athletes of the Week, SVSU men's soccer forward Jaden Cameron and the Cardinal women's golf team. The women's golf team broke their 18-hole team record twice this weekend, now resetting the mark at 295. Cameron had two goals in two games, including the game winner on Sunday against Northern Michigan. Thank you for watching Cardinal Sports Weekly. I'm your host, Ethan Jennings, and we'll see you next week.